first day of school in Jordan, at the Abu Alanda School for Girls in East Amman, this year will be like no other. A million and a half Jordanian students will study with Iraqi children who fled the war in neighboring Iraq. For the first time, the Jordanian government is allowing Iraqis to enroll in public schools, even if their families are living here illegally. The government's decision means that Hanan Abdul Rasul's 11-year-old daughter, Shahed, can register for classes. The family fled war-ravaged Baghdad, but because they're illegal residents, Shahed and her brother sat at home last year. I keep crying, she says, as I watched my friends go to school and I wasn't. A year away from school has left an academic toll, but Shahed's mother believes she can catch up. You know, children in the neighborhood would tease my children because they didn't go to school. As many as 50,000 Iraqi children are expected to enter the Jordanian school system. Educating each Iraqi child will cost about 800 euros this year. For a resource-poor country like Jordan, there's simply not enough money. The government says it's looking for international aid to pay the bill. Some schools will be operating on a double shift system. One set of students will attend in the morning and another group in the evening. It's a temporary solution to what's increasingly looking like a long-term problem, says Jordan's Minister of Education. Uh, as long as uh, you know, they are residing, uh, they will continue to be enrolled in the schools. However, I do believe that if this uh, crisis prolongs, we do definitely have uh, to build more schools, more classrooms. At least half a million Iraqis have flooded Jordan since the war with Iraq began in 2003. Streets are more crowded, resources are stretched, and now schools are the latest public service to be strained by the sheer number of people using them. Back at the Abu Alanda school, Shahed is registered as the school's newest sixth grader. With the burden of her family's poverty temporarily left behind, Shahed's biggest concern now is how to make new friends.